Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are watching from. My name is Ahmed Hafiz, and I'm glad to welcome you to session number 5 of the Master Planning Series in Microsoft Dynamics, 65 Supply Chain Management. Today, we will talk about how to set up a master plan. So, to set up a master plan, we need to go to the master plan module. then setup then plans then master plan so we have two ways to set up the master plan we can set up it manually by turning on and off each parameter or we can set up using the weathered let me delete this one and let me create a new one, let's call it one week or seven days plan. And let's use the weather. So the first question the application will ask you how many items are you planning for it depends on your application you your environment your business so for an example I said here I will include 1000 items and how many or planned orders do you expect every time you run the mass planning I also said it's around 1000 and do you have manufacturing or not yes I have and how many uh, bomb level do you have I will say three bomb level. then it will ask you do you want to override the time fence or the coverage time fence i would say yes use the defined in the master plan i will keep it for seven days only and do you want to have a freeze time fence no do you want to have forecast plan um let's keep it as it is in the coverage group do you want to include the purchase acquisition? Yes, I want. And I will include seven days as well. And do you want to have operational scattering or job scattering? I want to have job scattering. And how many days do you want for capacity constraints? I would say seven days and for sequencing i will keep it as it is in the carrier group for explosion i will use the defined in the master plan as seven days and for firming i don't want to have auto firming so i will keep it to no and for action messages i don't want to have action messages or delay and i want to make sure to avoid blend order to be scheduled in past date then next it will give you a comparison between the current configuration and the new configuration you can turn on or off what you want then click finish and here you are you got your master plan set up and of course you can just uh, include what you want here and the next one is the plan filter you can filter on specific items or item num group of items here but as far as I remember there is a limitation here in this area it limit to the number of items to 1000 item 
if you have more than 1000 items in the filter, it will return an error. Uh, but I don't have more than 1000 items in this environment, so it's up to you to test this functionality and you can share with me your results. And the last one here is the history. You can see the history of the master plan run from here. Because we don't have any history for this one, so we don't have any records. But if we look at this one, we can see all the logs here. Now I want to show you how to run the master plan for group of items or all items. Until this point, I showed you how to run it for one item from the metric requirement screen. So let's have a look on the other way. So you need to go to the master planning module, master planning, run, then master planning. You need to select here the master plan you want to execute. So let's use this one. And if you have many items, it's recommended to run it in patch, of course. If not, we can keep it in the interactive session. Then click OK. It will take less than one minute. So here it gave me, there is some warning. Do you want to see the warning or not? I don't want to see the warning right now. I want to see the planning results. So to see the plan results, I want to go to the planned order screens. And I can filter on the plan I want. As you can see here, we have many uh, planned orders created for all items. And we have also another one called Planned Order Simplified. It's just another way to see the planned order. So we learned how to set up a master plan and how to execute it. I hope this session was useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.